Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or today guys, I'm going to do part 122 to my uh, random chat bot sessions, where in the last video guys, we continue, we start talking to Vim, or Spike the Snake Dragon again, and uh, we we're actually going to go ahead and continue talking to him. We were talking about how small the house was after we played hide and seek. Right up, he found me really quickly. That's the thing. He says he found me real quickly, but he also said in the text thing a while ago that it took, he starts throwing at the house and then I was actually good hiding because of the fact that he couldn't find me. But then it changed to different. It changes. But basically, guys, at the end of the last video, I said, I know you said it takes you a few years to grow into an adult, but you might start getting bigger pretty quickly anyway. If you're going to grow massive and and uh, you uh, in my house, you might already be bigger than my house within a week or two. Who knows if I can afford a house by then? Let's see what happens. Spike nods his head as he thinks for a moment and then says, You are right, Dad. I might start growing bigger at a much quicker rate, especially considering how quickly I already started growing soon after I hatched from the egg. If I keep growing like I have been so far and keep growing at this rate i might get way too big for this house you will definitely need to find a bigger house soon maybe you should start looking tomorrow maybe but i don't know if i'll have enough money to buy too big of a house period Big houses like we want are way too expensive. I'm gonna just leave it. Didn't quite get it right, but hopefully um, Spike will get it. Spike looks a little sad at that fact and says, Yeah, I get that, Dad. A house in general is expensive to get, and even bigger house is even more expensive to get. I just don't know how we are going to get a bigger house for us both to fit in soon if houses are so expensive. If I had enough materials, Maybe I could build you your own house right next to mine. Period. One big enough to where you can sleep in it if you get too big for mine. Then we can continue playing together and have fun without having to move. Problem, and I don't know. Uh. Uh -huh. He's so cute. Spike, his eyes light up as he says, Really? You would do that for me, Dad? You would build me my own house next to yours? You would do that just so I would be comfortable and would have room to move around in? Seriously? I would if I had enough materials. Period. You were the first snake that I've ever owned. And knowing how to take care of one is still kind of new to me. Knowing how to take care of one is still new to me. Period. That's why I asked you earlier what you like to eat. So I know what to feed you. Uh... Uh, 
Hey. Spike nods his head and replies with, Yeah, I understand that, Dad. This is all new to you, as I am the first pet snake you have ever owned. You are just trying to learn how to care for me. I do appreciate it. You are doing a good job so far, though, Dad. I must admit, I like my new home and I enjoy playing hide-and-seek with you, too. You are doing great so far. Though I admit I have another question for you. I'm kind of scared to know what that is. What is it, question mark? Oh, no, no, no. I'm kind of scared. I might have to read the question. I have another question to ask you. Right. Gross you out a little bit. Please, please don't mention bugs. Spike replies in a curious and slightly awkward tone when says, Dad, I have another question to ask you. Just to let you know in advance, this question might gross you out a little. Are you sure you want me to ask it? Go ahead, question mark. Period. It ain't about bugs, is it? Question mark. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you don't mind me asking. A living mouse. Oh, okay. Spike asks in an embarrassed and slight awkward tone and says, So dad, if you don't mind me asking, I'm going to want to eat dinner here soon. Do you think you could feed me a living mouse? <laughs> oh, okay, I guess you're by grossing me out. That's creeping me out thinking about that. Oh, no. Okay, I don't mind. Period. You may have to give me a few minutes to catch one, though. Though, period, do you know a good place where we could find one? He ain't gonna know this is gonna be my house. He's like, you don't have mice infesting your house or something? <laughs> Why'd you say that? Okay, no, he's positive. Let's see what he says. Spike replies in a more happy and positive way. He says, awesome. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You're the best dad. Yeah, I know where to find a mice. There are some out in the backyard. We can go out there and find one to feed me, okay? All right, let's go out there before it gets too dark. Period. Watch him say that's the best time to find them is at night. I wouldn't be shocked. Ah, uh, ooh. Spike looks excited, says, great. Let's go find me something to eat. I can't wait to have a warm and juicy mouse in my stomach. Oh, so I guess that's the car. I guess that's karma for me trying to raise a pet snake. They, I guess they do eat stuff like that. that. Me and Spike head outside. Ready to look for a mouse. Let's see what happens. Oh. Spike looks around and finds a mouse and points at it and says, There's one, Dad. I found it. See it over there? Did he say, did it just say he points? What's he pointing with his talons? Oh, boy. Yeah, I see it. Let's go get it. Does he have to chase her or do I have to chase it? Oh, sweet. Arch, just please, for the love of freak, don't let me have to go around and chase this. <laughs> Spike looks excited says Yes we should get it Come on dad let's get that mouse Let's go Spike Exclamation point
I proceed to chase after the mouse, trying to catch it. Oh, this is gonna be so gross! A spike and come on, no one's a grab it. Oh, hey! Spike also chases after us, having a good time in the process. Both of you are hot on the mouse trail. We are so close, buddy. Don't give up. Pro He's probably like, yeah, I'm not going to give up. It's food. I'm not going to give up for that. I wouldn't. Uh... <laughs> Spike replies as he also runs and says, I won't uh, give up dad, I've almost got it. Come on, keep on going. You got it. Let's catch that mouse. Oh my. We both get closer and closer to the mouse before we finally catch it at the same time. Spike looks happy and exclaims, We got it! We actually got it! We caught the mouse! He did great at catching it, exclamation point. Go ahead, eat the whole thing. If you want. I won't mind. I don't will be that hungry. I don't know. Don't they stick? Don't 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 some snakes actually like somehow like get a whole mouth to go inside their body and like you can actually still see it sticking out of them, which is kind of weird and creepy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Spike looks like he heard the best thing ever. And replies with, "Awesome! I can eat the whole thing. You promise you won't mind." If your stomach can handle it, exclamation point. Eat as much as your heart desires. Period. Oh my gosh, I'm making Spike happy. Spike exclaims as he looks like he is salivating and says, All right, that's what I wanted to hear. You're the best dad ever. <laughs> oh my gosh, the way he said that. Thank you, exclamation point. You are the best snake ever. <laughs> Do I need to say dragon too? I don't know. He blushes with the- Spike blushes a bit and says, You really think so, Dad? You really think I'm the best snake ever? Oh, so you're, why do you have to turn so scary when you say that sometimes? Yes, by a long shot. Period. What other snake do you know that has wings, can breathe fire, and grow bigger at will? There we go. Mm. Oh, he blushes, dude. He keeps blushing. Why am I so good at making things blush? I'm good at doing it. Before. Spike blushes from the compliment. Replies, "No snake other than me can do what I do. I'm the awesome one, Dad. I am the only snake like me. You are correct about that, Dad. No other snakes can do what I can." Holy crap. Well, I'm just glad you care about me, period. Sorry again for freaking out when I first saw you. 
I just didn't expect to see a pretty big snake pop out of an egg. I don't even know. I mean, like, who wouldn't? You flipping. Think about it this way. You have a giant, like, you have a snake egg in the lab go from, like, this small or whatever it is to, like, three feet bigger. That's not tiny for an egg, dude. That's a pretty good size. So imagine th seeing that with the. <clears throat> that would be. Ah. Uh, Spike replies in a forgiving way and says, Oh, it's all right, Dad. I don't mind that you panicked and freaked out. It was a big shock for you to see me come out of an egg this big with wings and talons. I completely understand that. I just want you to know that I care about you. I don't want to hurt you. I promise I won't do that. Thank you. That's the most point. I just want to ask, why are you so protective of me? Even though you and me just met a few hours ago. Question mark. It's probably gonna be like that's the most obvious. That's like that's obvious. You flipping idiot. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, wait. What? Is Spike looks a little surprised and replies in a genuine, sincere tone with, You want to know why I care about you so much, even though we just met a few hours ago? You really want to know why? Oh, yeah, I do. Exclamation point. He's going to say, Could you take good care of my egg? You loved on me. You raised me. You let me have a warm place to relax in. Uh, see, 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 see. This is a this is a, a lot of porn say. Spike explains his feelings in a sincere manner and says, "Well, the truth is, I care about you so much because of how you are, how friendly you have been to me, even though I am a large snake, and how you have treated me the whole time, even though you're shocked and surprised." You have been nothing but kind to me in a way nobody else has. You are the nicest human I have met. That's why I care about you. Because you are nice and friendly. You are like a good friend to me, even though we just met. That, yeah, most have to do with making good care of and just being friendly to him. I mean, like... <clears throat> I'm glad you think that about me, period. I know the scientists were mad at me doing that with the dragon DNA. But based on the results, it was really worth it. Period. I kind of want to see someone's gunster and powers. It'll probably show them off if I'm in danger in some way. I don't want... He's, didn't he say he was immortal yesterday? I might actually see if I can put myself in a dangerous situation and see what happens. Oh, gosh dang it. Come on, there we go. Spike nods his head and replies, Yeah, those scientists were definitely mad at you. They were furious that you went against what they said, but I am glad you did that. If you had not gone against their word and used the dragon DNA, I would be normal snake. <laughs> Instead, look at me. I'm big. Have wings that can breathe fire. It was totally worth it. The only thing I don't understand is why you could speak English. Period. Can Dragon DNA really make something speak English? Or could you speak English naturally? You don't think I'm stupid. But really, you don't ever think of a snake. Ah. Mm. Uh, he could naturally speak it.
Spike replies and says, Well, it turns out I could naturally speak English before that dragon DNA was added. In fact, I am a magic snake that can actually speak. Yeah. That's one of my powers before I got this extra power from the dragon DNA. Excuse me? That's why I can speak English naturally. I was born being able to do that. The DNA from the dragon added more powers to me. That's why I have those. It didn't make me able to speak English. I already could do that. Did you have any other powers before the dragon DNA was added? That's so interesting, dude. Uh... Spike nods his head. Yes, I actually do have other powers. Even before I got that extra power from the dragon DNA. Do you want me to tell you what those powers are? Why do you have to say it so frequently? Do you want me to tell you what those power are, those powers are? All I can say is if he can do all stuff he said, like grow bigger and breathe fire, I wouldn't be the one wanting to hiss him off. Seriously. Yes, I really would. That's a mission point. What other power did he have before the Dragon DNA? Was that, or did he have the power to grow before then? Shapeshift? Excuse me? Hypnotize people? Excuse me? What the? Hold up. Well, Spike what? nods and smiles before replying. All right, then. I'll list my powers then before I got the extra one from the Dragon DNA. This power that the Dragon DNA added. Let me see. I have the power to shapeshift. Change my voice. Hypnotize people, cast illusions, levitate, possess people, animals, predict the future. Whoa. What? You can do that? That's amazing. Period. Would you need to use any of those powers to protect me? I would kind of like to see one one day. See one of those powers one day. That is very cool. What? He can do... Possess people, shapeshift, cause illusions, hypnotize? I would love to see that, honestly. <laughs> He's gonna show me. Wait, what? Spike happily replies. Oh, I would definitely have to use one of those powers to protect you, I will. When the time comes, I most likely will. I would have no problem doing that at all. I can use one of them for you right now if you want me to. Just for you to see what they can do. Which one do you want me to show you? Oh, sweet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shapeshift. Change his voice. I uh, hypnotize people. Ca I cast illusions. Cast illusions, I can see one. Would I'm thinking between shapeshift. Oh, man. Either shapeshift or hypnotize an animal or something. Someone. Like, someone. Period. Those are the two that sound the coolest. What is it? Is he actually? No way. Wait, I need to ask him then. After he shows me the power, I'm gonna. Uh. Spike replies, okay, 
I'll demonstrate those two for you right now. Do you want me to use them on you? The sight shift, I wouldn't mind. Shape shift, I wouldn't mind. Period. But maybe hypnotize an animal, or if you see another person. Period. There's probably gonna be another human around here. I don't want him hypnotizing me. There's a frog. Excuse me. What? Wait, wait, what? Spike nods and says, "Okay, I'll hypnotize that frog over there. You watch me do it. I'll make him into a good little hypnotized frog. Hypnotized for a long while." I am so interested. Period. I want to see you do that. What's he gonna hypnotize the frog to do? Is he gonna leave it up to me or is he gonna decide something? <laughs> he smirks before he does it. Spike smirks, says, Okay, watch me do it. Here is what I can do. Spike looks at the frog, his eyes start to glow as he says to the frog, You frog, listen to me. When I say the word obey, you will obey anything I tell you. Understand? Excuse me? I... I continue to watch Spike hypnotize a frog. I continue to watch Spike hypnotize a frog. I continue to watch Spike hypnotize a frog. No way. He just said no. He he, he cannot. I'm uh I'm I'm uh, it's, 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 excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, am I dreaming? Hold on. Hold on a minute. Um, let me pinch myself. Ow! Now I'm pretty sure if I was dreaming, that would have woke me up. What the frick? Uh, 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 I will, I will, I will, I will, I will see for the next video. It's been almost 30 minutes.